Here with AM Commerce head softball coach Richie Brewster as the Lions prepare for five games this week. Coach, good week for your team last week as you picked up five wins. You got uh, two wins over nationally ranked Arkansas Tech on Wednesday, and then three good wins against MSU Texas. A lot of offense last week as he had four grand slams. A lot of people had some good uh, play there on the offensive end. Talk about how your offense played last week. Yeah, really you know, excited what we did. And, uh, you know, Coach May's done a great job with our hitters and uh, and then to follow that up with Coach McNutt with the pitchers and the defense. And so it was just a well-rounded performance with both of them. I think we outscored our opponents 38-2. to two, And so when you do that, uh, good things are going to happen for you that week. Yeah, and then you talk about that defense and pitching. Uh, two one-run games and then starting off conference with three shutout wins, including that no-hitter at the end. Talk about how your defense and your pitching staff played last week. Well, it was very exciting to see their confidence and what they're doing, um, you know, starting in the circle with, with both Dana and Otto doing a great job out there. And then, uh, you know, the defense is fabulous behind them, you know, making them a lot of the routine plays and, and then some of those great plays. And so it's, um, you know, great. It's fun to watch, you know, the double plays and diving catches and things like that. So if you're a fan, it's fun to see those plays made. And as a coach, it's wonderful. And, and if you're a pitcher, you got to feel great. You've got the best defense behind you. Yeah, and a really memorable day on Saturday as you picked up your 500th career win. Uh, can't really script it any better than a walk-off grand slam no-hitter to pick up that 500 win. Talk about that accomplishment. Well, I just thank the good Lord for blessing me and everything that I've you know, been able to achieve in, in my um, short career and uh, you know so it's a uh, you know exciting uh, to see the way they did that it's about those those kids out there and working hard and those kind of things and, and not about my accolades and but it's a testament to everybody uh, our administration um, university and all the things because that's why we're able to win the games that we're able to do it's a community effort you know it's a university effort and um, when you've got all those things going like, like we do uh, gives you a chance to be very successful, and we're taking advantage of that. All right, Coach. And then you got five games this week, starting with a home doubleheader on Wednesday against a and International, and then three-game road series against Permian Basin. Talk about what you're hoping to see from your team this week as you try to continue on this good run that you're on right now. Well, you can't be satisfied. We, we've still got a lot of things to work on, um, and that's what our kids do every day just to practice yesterday. I mean, we're trying to get better working on some things that we need to work on. Um, you know, fill in those holes where we need to. And so that's what we'll continue to do uh, through Wednesday. And then we'll, you know, head off on the road for another uh, Lone Star Conference matchup. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to some great games this week. The Lions are at home on Wednesday to face Texas A&M International. The first pitch will be at 2 o'clock. Uh, fans, we hope to see you at both of those games supporting your Lions. And then on Friday, the Lions head out to Odessa to face UT Permian Basin. You can find links to those games on lionathletics.com. Coach, best of luck this week. Thank you, Marcus.